Hi, welcome to the Art Gallery of Mississauga. My name is Shannon Anderson and I'm the senior curator here. And today we're going to be taking you through a virtual tour of the exhibition Sarah Angelucci Undergrowth. And Sarah is here with us today to speak about the various bodies of work that are brought together in this project. Hi, I'm Sarah Angelucci and this is my exhibition Undergrowth at the Art Gallery of Mississauga. This exhibition deals with 10 years of projects in which I've been thinking about our relationship with nature. I use photography both as a tool to create images, but also I investigate the history of photography and its implications in uh, colonizing the natural environment. When Shannon Anderson and I were conceptualizing this exhibition, we debated what kind of title to come up with. And undergrowth seemed like a, a word that encompassed this idea that once the forest is cut down and harvested for various purposes, the undergrowth is permanently damaged and it's very difficult to regenerate. Um, and it made me also think about the idea of the underdog. Right now, nature really is the underdog, and we are certainly dominating this planet, and, and we all know what the implications of that is. So I like this idea to think about, for us to be thinking about what is irreplaceable, uh, what needs protection, and the ongoing challenges that nature is facing right now. In 2012, I had been collecting carte de visite and wondering what to do with them. Um, I had been thinking about how photography has this promise that when we take pictures of each other and loved ones that they'll never disappear. We can never keep ourselves or our loved ones forever. And I was thinking about this idea that um, an artist named Christian Boltanski said that was very haunting to me, which is, um, they say that we die twice, once when we die, and the second time when no one recognizes our picture. So I began to think about this idea of disappearance and reading a lot at that time about the environment and species disappearing, I began to link these two ideas together, even though it seemed very far-fetched. And I was particularly reading about bird species at that time. So I visited the Royal Ontario Museum and uh, visited their ornithology collection, met a man named Mark Peck, who was in charge of the ornithology collection, and he let me tour the collection and look at birds that were endangered and extinct. The idea really at first was a very strange one to think about merging us um, and creating these very strange hybrid creatures. So that's really what generated this very profound and um, deep interest that I have had since then in thinking about our relationship to the natural world. What you see behind me is a very large version of an image from my series, Nocturnal Botanical Ontario. This project is ongoing and it started around 2018. Um, I was dealing with the grief of losing my sister and at the time I sort of retreated to my small city garden uh, as a way to heal and connect with nature. I started to identify all the plants in my garden. I started to scan the plants as a way to keep track of them. And I also really liked the idea of going to where they grow and seeing what grew together. So over the pandemic, um, this project really expanded. I had a lot more time to spend near my cottage in uh, the Pretty River Valley in Southern Ontario and uh, really think about the ground in which I was standing on, literally, but also metaphorically about who owns that land, uh, the indigenous people that originally own the land, that still the land still belongs to, that we share in, 
uh, the idea of stewardship of the land, and also right now thinking about all of the competition there is for development in southern Ontario for these protected lands that we have. Um, and so I think looking at the plants themselves, you can begin to see um, native specimens, introduced specimens, invasive species, and think about those relationships. How did they get there? Why are they growing together? How do they support one another? How do they compete with one another? Uh, and so looking deeply at these plants, which grow at our very feet, I think raises a lot of really important issues for us to be considering. Sarah Angelucci Undergrowth is on view at the Art Gallery of Mississauga from April 20th until July 7th, 2024. We invite you to come and experience the exhibition in person and to come and visit us throughout the year as we offer uh, changing exhibitions throughout the year.